We're here today with our friend, Attorney Kevin Grievous from the law firm of Colbert and Grievous Certified Elder Law Attorneys. Hi, Kevin. Good morning, Frankie. We wanted to get you in here because on Saturday, March 3rd, you have a big event coming up I want everyone to know about. Absolutely. We're giving another free educational seminar. Uh, this time it's going to be at Glen Oak Country Club in Clark Summit. Beautiful place for a seminar. And I like these, number one, because there's a free hot breakfast. <laughs> Absolutely. Everybody loves that. <laughs> exactly. And most importantly, all the things you'll be discussing to talk about things that so many people are going through in their lives right now. Right. As certified elder law attorneys, Frankie, we really want to get out in the community and educate people on all the options that are available to them to protect themselves, their home, and their life savings from the cost of long-term care. We're there to give the attendees some solid, good information, um, and really we're going to divide it up into... Uh, advice about advanced planning, so things you can do well in advance of the need when you're a little bit younger. Right. We're also going to focus on crisis planning, so if a loved one is already in a nursing home, there are so many things that can be done to protect their resources even after their admission. We'll spend a lot of time on that, too. Beautiful. And this is all free and open to the public? Yes, it is. Beautiful. So how do we need to make a reservation or RSVP? Yes, we would prefer that you call ahead of time and reserve your spot by calling us at the office at 570-299-7909. Simple as as that for Saturday, March 3rd, 930 to 11 at Glen Oak Country Club in Clark Summit with attorney Kevin Grebus and our friend Brenda Colbert at Colbert and Grebus Certified Elder Law Attorneys. What's your website, Kevin? It is elderlawnepa.com. And I hope we have a big turnout on Saturday, March 3rd. It's going to be awesome. Thanks for coming in today. Thanks for having me, Frankie.